Hi there, welcome to our review channel. Today we're going to be checking out this battery bank from Lumsing. It's the LUM00802. This is a 13,000 milliamp hour USB battery. In the box, you'll receive the battery, a USB charging cable, the user's manual, and some information about the power user program Lumsing has. To turn your battery on, hit this little silver button in the front. These LED lights will display how much power is in your battery. When I first received mine, it was only on three lights lit. So I put it into the charger, and then the fourth light started blinking, meaning that it was charging. Lumsing recommends that after all four lights are lit, you leave it on the charger for at least an hour and a half or overnight to get the full 100% charge on your battery. To charge this battery, Use the end slot in the front and the micro USB connector you have on your cable and plug it into your battery. As you can see, mine is fully charged, so we don't need to do that right now. To charge a device such as a tablet or a phone, simply take the USB in, plug it into either of the outputs, take the micro USB in, and plug that into your device and then turn the power on. Your device will start to charge. When your device is done charging, the battery will turn itself off to save the power. As you can see, I've been using the Lumsing power banks for a couple three years now. This is the first one that I got. This is the LUM00801. It provides 10,400 milliamp hours of power while the Zero 2 provides 13,000, which is a little bit more. The other thing that is different about these is the Zero 1, you have to put your cell phone in on this side and your tablet in on this side to make sure that you're not giving your cell phone too much power. The Zero 2 has an intelligent design, so it will automatically decide how much power you need for your device. The last thing to note on the Zero One is when you plug in your charger to it, it can get a little weak here on the side. And I've been told that they fixed that design flaw. And now, when you plug this in, it stays in nice and tight. See how it seeds in a lot further? So there's less of a chance for it to get loose. I've only been using this battery bank for the last couple weeks now, but I do like that it has more power to keep my phone charged all day long. I've even used it to charge up video cameras when I'm having long days on video shoots. And I do like the fact that I don't have to memorize which USB port I have to plug my device into to get it to charge. Well that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.